Hello, welcome to Pandora's Box. Today, I'm going to open Commander's Legends again. This is going to be draft box number two. So far, I've opened one draft box and one collector's box, and I've gotten a progression of 34%. After those two boxes, 34%. So today, draft box number two. Okay. So I, I, I'm hoping today is going to be a fast one because uh, I double check. I've gotten every single one of the, uh, Common cards already. So it's gonna wait, I never realized this one. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't remember I don't remember seeing that for the for the first box. Or maybe I just chuck it away. Okay. So I don't have to uh I don't have to take note. Uh I don't have to sort the common cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw all the common cards one side. Okay, the opening is gonna be a lot faster because I've gone through most of the cards already. So, okay, tokens aside, okay, commons. Let me put all the commons aside. I don't even need to sort the commons. I'm super happy with that. Okay, but I do need to keep out for keep a lookout for the rares also. Okay, the 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 rares and the common, the uncommon and the rares uh, are what I need. Okay, so for you one here. Okay, so this this is a pack with two rares. Okay, correct, two rares. Very good. Uh, Rings of Bright, Bright Half also I think is worth a little bit of money. I'm not too sure. I think, I think. I cannot confirm. That's that's what I, that's what I assume. Okay, the next one. Okay, and comments over here. What is this? Whoa, Birdman. Ooh, okay, no, no. I thought that was the Apex Devastator. <laughs> Caught, I, I saw I saw wrongly. I thought that was the Apex Devastator. I got I got too excited for a moment. I thought, what? I got high for a moment. Wait. See this? You see you see the, the tokens? All oh, tokens have issues like this. You see? Even for my first box or so. Was it because of my rough handling when I'm opening a packs? Okay, okay. Maybe next one I'm gonna do it very, very softly. Okay. Next one I'm gonna open the packs very gently and see whether the tokens are uh, also uh, I'm I'm gonna see whether the tokens are actually um uh how do you say okay this is gentle one okay this is a very very gentle opening okay let's look at the tokens okay actually the look tokens looks okay okay so maybe it's not the printing maybe it's not wizards it's me maybe I was a little bit too rough with the box opening that's why some of the tokens that I have right uh, are sort of like uh, a little bit frayed at the edges. Law Seeker Command. Oh, Radiant Sarah in Archangel. One of my favorite art in the box. Okay. Uh, wow, this is real from Street Fighter. Benda. Okay. So this one, same thing. Okay, I'm gonna do this super gentle again. In case, in case maybe, maybe. Okay, let's look at the token. Hey, actually, this token is okay. It's still okay. All right. Okay. I I think I'm gonna conclude that this is me. It is me. Okay. I'm hand. I was handling ha handling the packs too rough. So no problems with the tokens there. That was me all along. Okay. Let's what crocodile. Very nice crocodile and anointer and a prismatic piper. Okay. Wait. No prismatic goes here. I do have that prismatic piper. Okay. Good, good. I'm going a lot faster today. Oh, this token is fine also. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm I'm the one who's spoiling all the tokens. Okay, let me set all the comments aside. And ingenuity and confiscate. Comb the breaches. Esther command. Witcher list. Kodama of the East Tree. I don't have that. Okay, good. Very good. This, this is a little bit frayed, but I was handling in this pack. I was handling a, it a little bit rough, so I think really it's me. I think it is me. Oh no, <laughs> okay. What else? What do I have? Supreme Rail, okay. Oh, Vampire Tutor again. What the okay, two draft boxes, two Vampire Tutors. Uh, the last one I got a foil Vampire Tutor. This is a non foil one. 
Okay, that's a big win. That's a big win because I do not have that. All right. Super fast with the box openings. Okay, one third of the way through. I'm one third of the way through now. Let's see what good stuff do I have. Uh, all box. I'm a crowd judge. Dreadlord, dead tight, sun. Okay, nothing there. Uh, so not not a single, not a single coal H foil, coal foil. Oh, but the 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 uh, collectors boxes, the coal foil weights, <laughs> guaranteed at least three pieces for every single uh, co uh, uh, collectors booster pack and guaranteed at least one mythic. So the <laughs> coal foil is actually not that hard, but if you're if you're trying to pull pull them from uh draw boosters, right? Uh, good luck. It's gonna be super difficult. Okay, so this is okay. I do have this the coal foil Dago the ship wrecker, but I I do like the art. Very very nice art. But uh, another thing, opposition agent here. Good, two good pulls already. Two good pulls. What is the? Yeah yeah correct. I'm I'm, I'm it's always the jeweled lotus. The big, big card here is the jeweled lotus. Okay, let's keep all the uncommons again. And what do we have? Hero's Blade. Piece of succession. Very nice, very beautiful card. And wow, Jessica tries reborn. Okay, nice. Mythic number two. Mythic number two for this box and another common foil. Oh, right, I'm gonna breeze through. I'm gonna be breezing through all the all the boxes. If if I manage to get all the uncommons, right, it's, it's, well, I'm gonna it's gonna speed things up even more. If I can manage to get all the uncommons, right, uh, from today, okay, if I can get all the uncommons from the pull all the uncommons from the set today, okay, this is oh, this this comes here. Oh, this is gonna be crazy crazy fast. I'm gonna. Maybe we will do two to three box openings in the day. Okay, but so far, so far, no jeweled lotus. What do I really want to see actually? Jeweled lotus. Actually, I'm not I'm not that that high on jeweled lotus. But of course it's the chase card, you know. Uh I do oh Archeon of Coronation. Or oh, the ego, look at that. So fierce. Very nice. Okay, mythic number three. Mythic number three comes here. Torn, Jury, and War Room. Okay, that's a foil rare, so that's good as well, I guess. Uh, what am I really... Actually, the, the number one card that I was actually looking forward to was uh, Radiant, Sarah Arc Angel. I think I've put, I put most of the variants already for Radiant, Sarah Arc Angel. So, so beautiful, so beautiful. This is definitely going into the top 10. Who is this one? Lavia Prima. This is so beautiful. Definitely it's a digital uh, this is definitely a digital art. This doesn't look like it's hand painted, but this is wow. So beautiful. Okay. Oh yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah. Uh what card what cards are I what 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 cards were I really anticipating? What do I really want to pull from here? Uh let's see, let's see. Um jewel lotus, probably not, not really jewel lotus. Um Sarah Art Angel. Uh, I'm actually yeah, actually look, pretty looking forward to pulling a uh, Apex Devastator also because I think the artwork is really really epic. Okay. Apex Devastator. Hopefully I can see one soon. So far out of my boxes that I open, I have not seen any. Oh, this is also nice. Who is this by? Okay, I have not seen any Apex Devastator so far out of all the out of all the boxes I put. Hopefully I can see one soon. And what else am, am I really anticipating? What else am I really? Actually, <laughs> come to think of it, actually that's about it. This is also super beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna love. I mean, I mean, my favorite part, right, uh, of doing opening sets, right, like this, right. It's not the uh, it's not the actual pack opening like this, but uh, <laughs> doing the top ten. I really, really enjoy uh, doing the top 10, especially, especially for magic sets because magic sets are massive. Okay, so, so many cards to choose, so I really have to, you know, I really, really uh, 
have to uh, take my time and go through and think and justify why I put this in the top 10 and not others. The, the other sets, like uh, when I do for Pokemon, right, some of the sets are, are like maybe less than 100 cards. Uh, certain sets, maybe Champion's Path is like, uh, it's like a 70 card set. So a lot of the time, we can't really, you know, there's a, not a lot of cards for, cards for you to choose. Imagine you're, uh, imagine you're doing a top 10 uh, card list, right? Uh, if you're doing a top 10 ranking uh, for Champion's Path, there's only, seven of 70, there's only like 80 cards. So one in every 8 cards, right, is going to make it into your top 10. So it's so hard to find. Uh, you're, really, you're really, you know, squeezing. You're, you're really uh, making space uh, for... Try, just just really trying to make space for the 10 really. Unlike in Magic, this is the, this, the scale of this set is just ridiculous. Okay, some Magic cards are like 300 plus cards to 5, 6, 700 cards plus cards. This is 1000 over cards. The, the, the amount of cards here are ridiculous. Of course, of course, um, there's quite a number of reprints as well. Uh, that one I cannot refute. There's quite a number of reprints. But nevertheless, the scale of Magic the Gathering compared to Oh, three visits. I think this is also quite valuable. Uh, the, the, the scale of the sets here, right, compared to... Oh, this is also nice. Kodama of the East Tree. Okay. The scale of the set here compared to um, Cardfight Vanguard, compared, compared to some of the Japanese Pokemon and some of the ETB, the smaller set Pokemons, and the Yu-Gi-Oh's and all this. This is massive. This is like one set from Magic, right? It's like one year's worth of sets, right, from like um, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's crazy. The, it, oh! Oh yes! Oh yes! Apex Devastator! I was talking about this one! Oh, I'm super looking oh, super looking forward to getting this. Okay, this is by Silvitin Velenov. You see the art? <laughs> you see the, the artwork, the background, the sky, and the, the, the birds, and all of these? And then you see, see how small the trees are compared to this uh, Chimera Hydra. Absolutely beautiful cut. I love oh, this. is so cool. The artwork is so cool. Definitely top 10. Spoilers. Definitely this is going to be a top 10. Uh, number one, I'm not too sure. But definitely that is going into the top 10. So beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Apex Devastator. And I think that cut is also holding on to pretty good value. Because it's the... I think it's too powerful. Cascade four times. It's so crazy. The casting cost, of course, is super high. But cascade four times. Wow. It's like a... Even if you counter this, you if you don't have a board wipe, you probably did <laughs> the next turn. Okay, what else is there? What else is there? And... Okay, nothing much here. But I think so far, four mythics is very good. I'm still missing one more coal foil. I think I do... I think I'm able... Should, we should be able to get two uh, coal foils right from every draft box. So I'm still missing one coal foil. Alright. So I mean big sets like this, okay. Some of the cards, right, from the set when I'm doing the top 10, right? Even the top number one cards, right, wouldn't get into the it wouldn't get into the honorable mention here. That's how good, right, the artwork in magic is. Okay. Some of the art that you take Yu-Gi-Oh! even if you take card fight then that uh even even certain Pokemon cards, even certain Pokemon sets, the the number one card, right? Let's say for Champions Path, right? In terms of artwork, right? Won't probably, not 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 probably. It definitely won't even make a honorable mention over here. That's that's how good the artwork in Magic is. It's crazy, crazy, crazy good. Ooh, nice Profane Transfusion. Ooh, this is uh, Mythic number five. Okay, whoa, crazy set. And crazy box. I mean, crazy pack. Crazy draft box. Five mythics already, uh, along with a uh, opposition agent. If I do get a hall breacher, whoa, that will be that will be the icing on the cake. If I do get a hall breacher, that would be the icing on the cake. Okay, so this is uncommon is over here. Oop, oh, angel see, so beautiful. Also top ten. And return to dust and a piper. All right, last one. Uh, still took me about 15 minutes. Can be faster, definitely can be faster. I'm going to try to be even faster for the next few boxes. I'm going to try to open a box in 10 minutes. Just do everything within 10 minutes. Let's see what do I have here. Shipwrecker. Ooh! Mythic number 6. What? 
<laughs> what kind of pack is this? Six mythic box. Oh, this is crazy. Hey, wait, which is the most expensive? I think. I think. Yes. I think these four are the most expensive. One, two, three. I think these couple of cards are the most expensive. I'm not too sure. This is my guess. I guess these are the most expensive cards of the box. Alright. Okay, let's quickly do some sorting. It's gonna be fast, definitely. Brothers and sisters, please like and subscribe to my channel. To you, it's just a little click, but to me, right, it's the difference between being able to continue to leech off my parents while making content like this or having to go out into the world to find a real job. I'm still very young, I'm only in my late 30s, and I hope that I don't have to join the workforce so soon. So please, please, just move your cursor to the like and subscribe button and give it a little click. Every click will help to extend my runway a little bit longer. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Okay, I'm done with the sorting. Today, uh, I've got a, gotten a total of 54 new cards. 54 new cards and my progression is up to 38%. So, uh, a mere 4% progression today. Lots and lots and lots of duplicates. <laughs> okay, this is... Okay, all the uncommons I didn't even touch, okay, because I didn't need uh, any card. Any, uh, all, all the common cards I didn't even touch. Okay, and these are all the un uncommon cards here. Okay, these are the tokens, the common cards. Let me put the tokens beside. And these are all the, all, okay, this is the foil. Actually, nothing much. I think nothing much for the foil also. Okay, and these are, maybe I'll just put the foil aside. Anyway, okay. So these are all the rares. These are all the, the rare, the rare cards that are uh, duplicates. Okay. So, yep, yep, uh, quite a good box today, 4% uh, only, even though it's only 4%, but yep, hmm. I'll take it. Seriously, I really think that my gift wrapping skills are getting better and better. I really think that this looks a lot, a lot better than like my, my, my first couple of videos where the packing, everything was just hideous. It's, it doesn't look the best, but I really think this is quite a big improvement. Anyway, thank you all very much. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.